Hey everyone, so in this video I'll be demonstrating the installation of a cargo slash baggage door onto my tent trailer. Now this baggage door, new, about $150 to sometimes $300. So what I did is I went to my local recycling center, uh, scrapyard as we call it here, and luckily enough they had a big motorhome that had tons of cargo doors. So a couple of screwdrivers, 30 minutes of my time, I was able to take it off and uh, it's going to do the job great. Uh, the reason for this is my tent trailer, my 97 Scamper, does not have any exterior cargo doors. Not even the main door opens when the trailer is uh, lowered. You have to raise it up to get the door open. So it makes it very inconvenient for loading and unloading. Also, I like to have a toolbox with my, the tools I need for my trailer and you know the different uh, wood block of woods for the jacks. So this way, by putting the cargo door onto the side, I'll have access to underneath the seating area beside one of the bunks. Uh, so I'll be able to um, easily have access to whatever I may need in the trailer while the trailer is closed. So as you can imagine, the cargo door was locked and I couldn't open it. So I was able to take my grinder and grind the lock off to get her open. Seems in pretty good shape considering. And uh, now I'm going to just unbolt the lock and I'll have to purchase a new one and put it in. Okay, so unfortunately, as I had thought, there is wood inside that door, which is totally rotten. So now I'm just in the process of removing the trimming off the edges to uh, be able to get that piece of metal, as you see in front of you, out, thus giving me uh, the ability to remove the wood and put a new piece of wood in place. So now I have the door all the way fully open, so exposing the wood. However, I would not call this wood. It is literally mud. This wood has totally disintegrated into nothing. The only thing I think that was holding this sawdust in place was the actually forming of the door. Look at this. It's just falling apart. So it's a good thing I decided to open that up and get some new wood in there. So I'm going to be using, uh, figuring out what size is. Looks about half inch. I might go with 3 eighths to give me some leeway. Uh, pressure treated. Cut it to size, put it in, uh, reframe it back up, and that way we'll be good to go. So I was able to get all the wood outside, out of the door, and this is what's left. Piece of mud on the ground. If we come over here, you can see now just the empty frame. And I have the inner and outer panels. So now it's just a matter of getting a new piece of wood, putting it back together, putting it in place, cleaning up the frame, putting new uh, weather stripping in it. And uh, we'll go on to installation into the trailer. So I was able to cut the hole for the door. Um, I used my angle grinder to get through to the, through the vinyl a little bit quicker. And then just a, uh, a utility knife to cut through the, the very thin pre-finished wood that they put on for the paneling. So as you can see right now, the opening is fit for the actual door. However, if you look, the actual compartment under the seat is uh, smaller than the overall size. There's a beam in the way. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be restructuring the framing of the trailer, removing this beam to be able to fit the door in properly. And by doing this, this will give me access to the storage compartment under the, the bench seat, as well as if when I open the door, I can actually get into the trailer itself. So that'll be, uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to like that. So uh, I'm going to stop for today. I've got a birthday party, and I'll continue on this tomorrow. So I was able to remove the framing that was in my way. I'm going to have to come back later and reinforce the framing I removed. But uh, when I do that, obviously I'm not going to have it so it's in my way of the door, of the access panel. Uh, as you can see, I freed up the wires as well. So those I'm going to be rerouting over the access panel. I got a bit of a nice wire chase just on top, so I'll be running them through there. So right now I'm in the process of reinforcing the hole opening. What I'm doing is taking some one by 2 stock uh, like that, cutting it, framing it, then using some industrial adhesive, a PL, to hold it into place. This will just give it a little more rigidity around the opening. I already have framing on the bottom and on the right hand side. This is just to secure the top and left hand side. So now I'm going to be cutting the wood, which will become the new structure for the door. As you remember, the door wood that was inside, it was all rotten and sawdust. So this is just 3 8 ply that I'll be painting to weather seal and then encapsulating inside the vinyl and aluminum housing for the door. So I have the door all reassembled. The new piece of plywood is sandwiched in. The frame is fastened to it. So, uh, so far looking pretty good. Nice and strong. 
So what I'm going to be doing now is putting the lock in. I had to go out and buy a new lock, which will be going in the existing hole there. I just have to drill a new hole into the new plywood. But as you can see, the door is nice and fastened. I um, glued it as well as I put some machine screws around the perimeter of the framing just to make sure everything's held nice and tight. Still have to put some weather stripping in the channel to give it a nice seal. And um, I also bought some white paint, so I'm going to be going over it with some white paint to give it a nice fresh look. It is a very close match to the, um, the vinyl on the trailer already, but let's freshen it up make it look nice. So here we have the door all installed. Uh, it's all secured in place. What I do is put a very thick bead of silicone around the, the flange of the door so that way when it's screwed into the body and framing of the trailer it's squeezed out making a nice seal in there stop any water and uh, anything else from getting in so nice and sealed. So I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I mean obviously I still have to go over it with some paint. I want to paint that metal frame white and also the door itself just to give it a more brighter look to match to the rest of the trailer. So I'll get, open it here so we can see inside. So now when we open it, we have our access into our trailer where I can keep my toolbox and all my other tools. And that'll just make life a lot easier than having to always pop her open to get the main door open to get whatever I may need. This is a sign that I felt was very lacking on this trailer and now that I was able to put one in, I feel uh, I have everything I need in a trailer. So I'm just going to be finished for the day and then I'm going to get back at it tomorrow where I'm going to be putting the uh, rubber weather stripping, seal it out, and as well, uh, like I said, paint it, uh, paint it with the white to give it that nice more blended look with the rest of the trailer. Today I put on the weather stripping that goes around on the inside, around the contour of the, of the door. So as you can see, it's just a white rubber, typical weather stripping for houses, for doors or windows but will work perfect for this application as well. It's rubber, waterproof. It's giving a nice tight seal, which I like. It's just this stuff here. comes in, um, it's actually doubled up. I just split it in two, and then work it around there. So now I'm just gonna be masking off the door with some masking tape so I can start painting. So here's the door all painted, uh, looking nice and white. Actually a little too white if you ask me, but it's going to fade over time in the next year or two and perfectly match with the uh, rest of the trailer. But uh, much better looking than the steel frame that it was. So that's the end of the project. Uh, cargo door slash baggage door installation onto a tent slash pop-up trailer. So thank you all for watching and keep looking, uh, keep looking for my new videos as they come. There will be more and more as the year progresses and on to next year. Thank you very much.